Welcome back, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, what are we taking here? Dragonlord Selimgar? This card has wrecked us quite a few times. It's kind of difficult to get rid of, especially when the queue is filled with cards like Bone Shredder, Doomblade, and Malicious Affliction, which not, do not kill black creatures. I'm going to take the Selimgar. I've also been dying to draft some sort of blue-black nonsense. Thank you! Baron Von Vaderham, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. If you guys are watching on Twitch or on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you at least consider subscribing to the channel. It's a great way to support the content, and it's one of the few ways to monetize uh, what I do, which is streaming on Twitch and making magic content. So if you guys have it in you, if you're able to, to spare your Twitch subs, uh, definitely consider throwing them my way. I do appreciate it, and uh, keeps me going. I'm going to take Fall from Favor. I think it's... I think it's up there with Phantasmal Image. Turn three, fall from favor on like their one creature is probably pretty Thank good. Thank you. Oh, Badger with the sub. Oh my God. Thank you. 36 months and David Nivar. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, a time warp. A mystical archive time warp. Also, this card was banging yesterday. I was very impressed with it. But I'm going to take time warp because it's time warp. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for the resubs. You guys are great. A sub from Frank costs the same as buying 15 unmarked VHS tapes from the thrift store each month, but give, but gives you easily twice the entertainment. And the entertainment is much more easily digestible. With the, with the unmarked VHS tapes, you're going to have to put them in. Sometimes you're going to have to fast forward through the static if there's nothing on them. Sometimes they just won't have anything on them. So, you know, it's really, uh, it's really a crapshoot. I'm going to take this Fallen Shinobi because I think it's pretty good. And I'm going to cross my fingers that, um, that Bitter Blossom comes back. I'm going to take Bloodline Keeper, actually. It goes well with Shinobi. Make a vampire. Bounce that vampire. My videos always have things on them. That's true. I never upload static. And that's just that's just one of the ways I pay you guys back for your for your support. That's actually my slogan. Frank Lepore. Never just static. I think more power stone could be good here, especially if we're playing like a control deck and we're trying to get like some big Ugin Karn type cards. Plus, there are no talismans or signets in this cube, so you got to take that acceleration where you can get it, man. Static draft content when? Soon. Soon. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Um, so we can take a Blood Crypt or a Shambling event here. I think I like a Grixis a little better here. I'm going to take the Blood Crypt. Plus we can search for a Blood Crypt. If we get a Scalding Tarn, then it's a dual land. Thank you! Shut up and take my money! Oh, okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take someone's money. Three, three ninety, thirty thirty. That other number was bothering. <laughs> it's actually thirty three hundred. Ooh, I like a murderous rider. It's a murder. Uh, uh, and now we get this isolated chapel and a lingering souls, to inform us that we clearly made the wrong pick with the blood crypt. But I'll take lingers, because <coughs> maybe the shambling event comes back and we still have a shot. But who knows. Badger with a gifted sub. They've gifted 1,058 subs in this channel. That is a... Uh, Thank you! Okay. <laughs> 1,059. Badger, I appreciate you so much, buddy. Did you see that documentary about Blockbuster? Not yet, but it is on my watch list. Come watch Frank and his magic content along with the occasional felonious act. Felonious? What felonies have I committed?
Thank you. I have no criminal record. Oh my God, Badger is on a roll. I appreciate you. <laughs> 1060. We are at 1060. A solid 1060. Taking people's money. It's given to me. Uh, Thank you. Erebos Crocs is pretty sweet. Oh my God. You can... <laughs> Sometimes Badger just gets in one of those moods, and I like it takes me a second to be like, oh, this isn't just going to be a thing that he's that they're going to do. Uh, Badger, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate you. Oh, man. I kind of like Whip here. I mean... <sighs> Ghost Ratchet Whip. Whip. You guys are all wonderful, and I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> 1062. Like you do. Totally normal 1062. Also, I'm setting it up so that I can use my DSLR for my webcam. So we'll see how that goes. You're going to get some high definition me pretty soon. And I'm going to set it up so that I can aim the Brio, the Logitech Brio that I'm using now, down so that I can open packs and things. You know, if that's something that, that interests you. I don't care about Thing in the Ice, but I do like just windmill slamming a Massacre Worm on a board full of dirtily creatures. Ooh, Gary. Are we just like... Blue black devotion. Almost high def. I just got that right now, actually. 1080. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Oh, another black cliff cliffs. Making our red splash that doesn't exist yet just a little bit easier. I'll take this guy. We're going for we're going for uh mono blue black devotion. <laughs> Devoted. Bad, you're always thrilled to see all your uh, all your gains on Facebook. Badger's always posting deadlifting videos where he's like, just just lifted nine hundred kilograms, just lifted twelve hundred kilograms, just lifted seven thousand kilo. I'm like. It's pretty impressive. Good stuff. <sighs> Fiery Confluence is a banger, but it's also a double rubber. Hey, I missed that the 300 kilogram lift. I was a little, yeah, I did see that. But then, like, it's so funny because, like, you know, as a as someone who's lifting yourself, you know how disappointing that is because that's your goal, right? But like, someone on the outside, it's like when you're looking in at that, you're like, that's still super impressive. But I know that that doesn't help. Because you had a goal that's that that you're aiming towards. You know, like if I'm a competitive eater and I'm trying to eat 500 hot dogs and I can only eat 497 and people are like, well, 497 is still good. And I'm like, yes, but that wasn't my goal. 500 is my goal. Badger, I'm 100% sure you, you can you can do better. I don't think that's an issue at all. I think you're definitely like, like just watching your progress is pretty insane. Like. I don't think it's force. We actually have no planeswalkers yet. I'm going to take the immortal sun. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to roll with it. Yeah, I think actually counterspell is the best card in this pack, even though it's double blue. See, this is what I was hoping for. Dang it. This guy's a three at most, but... See, now we got this stupid Ugin. I think I want another five drop. I think it might just be Solemn Simulacrum here. I did not take Ugin specifically because I don't want to negate this Immortal Sun pick, even though I think Ugin is great.
I like Mana Confluence. It helps us cast Gatekeeper, Counterspell. Thank you! Chart, of course. Hey, Saru, thank you for the resub. 43 months. It, it actually does feel longer. I don't know, 43 months is a good amount of time. I'm going to take the Mana Confluence. We have no fixing so far for, this, for these two colors. Thank you! Jess Badger gifting a sub. Really appreciate it. There's two badgers in the chat right now. Oh, that's that's just Badger. You, I was like, there's one Badger now. Badger, I appreciate you, buddy. Badger, 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 Badger. Um. Factor Fiction or Control Magic or Golos. I like a Golos. Shriekma also an option. I do think we have a good amount of removal. I kind of like Factor Fiction. We don't have a ton of card draw here. Plateau. Oh man, that is a late Primeval Titan. And a late Through the Breach. And a Lava Claw Reaches, which is our third. Third blue black land, red black land. I mean, malicious affliction is okay. Thank you. I like sower. Oh my god, ten sixty four. We're 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 slowly approaching. We're quickly approaching. I don't even have any any sense of time right now. I want to take sower. I think sower is good. Oh, what up, not the plague? Why are some of the dual lands working and some of them not? I don't understand. I actually kind of like Stone Cold Serpent here. Oh, what up, Band Wedge? Um, yeah, that seems good. Stone Cold Serpent is also a creature that you can make big enough that they don't want to block it, and then you can bounce it with Fallen Shinobi to Ninjutsu. Don't duels always... No, I mean, like... I'll show you next time we see a dual land. I don't think Pestermite's good. City of Brass, huh? Okay. I do like a Mana War. I think Roller Rogue is fine. I challenge you to a duel. Land. <laughs> it's not. It's not. No, not laughing at that. I'm going to take Wretched Confluence. Uh, you find me now, things would get better. We could leave this place. See, like this one, look, like this plateau, it just has a solid red background, so you can't tell it's red-white. Whereas, like, the tropical island we saw, or, like, Badlands or something, has, like, the spiraling inside that you can see both colors. Whereas this is just solid red, and I'm like, why is plateau not working? This pack, oh my god, the quartz are in here? I have the quartz in my cube. Oh, wow. These seem insane. And I also added a lot of uh, enchantment removal in multiple colors to make sure 
um, to have answers for these. Like Feed the Swarm, they added, and I wondered why they added it, but now it makes total sense with Court because you want Black to have an answer. I also added, uh, what's the what's the um, Nature's Chant? I think it's the it's the white green hybrid mana one that's basically just disenchant. The chat loads, but the video doesn't load. Yeah, these are insane. Like, these are really, really good. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're taking Mystic Confluence because we're still going to stick on the uh, Immortal Sun plan here, but... Oh, I like this Liliana. I like Fabled Passage, too. Where are the blue-black lands, man? I really need some blue-black lands. I think we just take a Liliana here. Fail of Passage is cute and all, but I have a feeling we're going to get some lands in this pack. I have a feeling. Yeah, I'll take a Repeal. It's unexciting, but I don't care about Skyclave Shade, and I don't care about Emrakul the Promised End. Rydane. Compulsive Research is nice. That's a solid card draw. Okay, still nothing. It's okay. Jace Vern's Prodigy is a sweet one. And we don't have many two, two drops. Okay, I, uh, what do you call a pencil that doesn't work? Pointless. Okay, that's it's a, it's a nice warm-up. Uh, my sister bet me $100 I couldn't build a car out of spaghetti. You should have seen the look on her face when I drove pasta. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to take the Vencer here. We're getting good cards. I just don't have fixing for them. And I, I have one mana confluence. I think we're going to have to take out Gatekeeper here. My Bluetooth speaker wasn't working, so I threw it into the lake. Now it's sink. Now it's sinking. Oh, I like an Hour Runs Epiphany. That gives me another thing to do on turn two. And it's our second time walk effect. Oh, go for the throat's actually a nice pickup here because we just want more two mana interaction. Uh, fact of the day. Bank loan applications are least likely to be approved if they are processed by someone around midday and most likely by someone who has recently had their breakfast or their lunch. What if it's midday with someone who's had their who just had their lunch? In 1731, Sister Mariana de Jesus de Jesus, a Portuguese nun, was sentenced to six months silence for ogling a monk with a telescope and passing raunchy messages to him hidden in a pancake. How do you enforce that? I guess you have to trust because she's a nun and she takes it seriously. That that uh, Actually, this is a decent Torrential Gearhulk deck. We have Wretched Confluence, Mystic Confluence. Put Massacrum over here. Fact or fiction, put Whip of Erebos over here. Uh, counterspell and go for the throat. Not bad. Third fact of the day, the world's biggest grower of legal opium poppies is Tasmania, but they have a real problem with local wallabies getting high and passing out in their fields. That doesn't sound like a problem. That sounds adorable. Last fact, in 1746, a judge in, in York ruled that bagpipes were an instrument of war. Well, that's interesting. I don't know about all that. Chris, that, that tweet is fucking banging, dude. 
Uh, actually, Kira seems fine. This is 24. We need one more cut. I'm totally making this my new my new cover photo. All right, so good to know we did not get a single blue black land. Tomorrow on this day, in 1787, delegates gather in Philadelphia to draw up the U.S. Constitution. Wow, that's a late Splinter Twin. Tomorrow on this day, in 1796, English country doctor Edward Jenner administers the first inoculation against smallpox using cowpox pus in blue in in berkeley gloucestershire well who hasn't done that though you know we're gonna cut the gray merchant as well i don't think we're leaning towards that anymore think <clears throat> we'll get better hey yeah yeah um okay so I'm pretty sure this is our deck and we get one mana confluence. <laughs> well, get busy fixing. I think it's I think I like 9-7 here. Which is actually 10-8. And we definitely became way heavier blue. Okay, but like it's I I yeah, sure, maybe, whatever. If you guys if you guys want to correct me, you're more than welcome to. Oh, you can't. This he is all right. We'll keep this. How to unsub? How do I take back these one thousand sixty-two subs? Yeah, Gloucestershire is pronounced like that, but then Worcester, Worcestershire is pronounced Worcester. Worch Worcester, it's it. The, all those, all those words, all the, all the pronunciations of those locations are are are, are pretty convoluted. Don't try to shame me. Don't try to gloss to sure me, sure shame me. You. Okay, this is good. This is a good start. I just want a black land. That's the fucking exact opposite. That's literally if someone was like. If someone's like, I just want a, a ball of water because I'm thirsty, and then you gave him a bottle of sand instead. And that's that's the equivalent. Tomorrow on this day in 1904, Hans Albert Einstein, American professor, was born. Never heard of him. Thank you. Okay, there's a lot of things they're doing. Oh, see, this is interesting. So Hans Albert Einstein is actually the son of Albert Einstein, the second child and first son of Albert Einstein. That's interesting. Oh, what up, Brit? Land? You know what? Sure, I'll take it. Um... Just really need to hit more lands, I think. 
Fuck, that's ridiculous. Two cards, I guess. Oh, boy. Thank you. Liliana and probably Murderous Rider, I think. Badger with another gifted sub to the mossy bread. Forgot today was my prime sub day. Got greeted by a commercial. The things I do to watch. <laughs> Brad, I'm so sorry for, for all the hardships you've had to endure due to this due to this stream. Never I, I never meant for you to have to go through that. Okay, this is this is looking good for them. You know who else manages? Michael Scott. He wrote a book. It's called Sometime. It's called. It's called Sometimes. It's so, Somehow I Manage. I mean, actually, Pro Multicolor is pretty good against Omnath and the five color deck, so. <laughs> Jonathan Harris, yeah. The draws are still... Chef's kiss. Absolute chef's kiss. Oh, good, an Oko. Of all the cards, I was like, man, I hope they have this. It was it was an Oko. The Oko was... I'm going to play this. And then next turn, we're going to... Uh... So are the Omnath. Play a land. And then try to attack the Oko. And then fingers crossed that they don't have a way. To... God, they just played Oko, Omnath, and Sylvan Library. Their deck is, is fantastic. And I am envious of it. Mossy Beard, I actually have been meaning to. Any discussion on ending Pro League stuff yet? No, not yet. I haven't actually read the article. I've gotten the gist of it, and I'm like, honestly, I'm not surprised. Not even a little bit surprised. Staying up all night. Why are you watching Mary de Blasio? Like, that's funny because you're an Australian. Okay, how many cards do they draw? Five, huh? It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I also have Twitter. <laughs> Social media is basically just a window into the zoo that is America. God damn, if that's not the truth. Is this the banned cards only cube? I mean, uh, wait, what? Wait. There's only one banned card, right? I mean, the only banned card is Oko, right? 
Was Omnath banned? I didn't think Omnath was, was Omnath banned. I don't even fucking remember, dude. It all blends together, to be honest with you. I just assumed they all. Same. I'm like, Jace Friends Prodigy? That guy probably got banned. Sylvan Library? That ain't legal. Oh, good. A cyclonic rift on the top. <laughs> oh, man. Cyclonic rift. They use cyclonic rift now, right? Then you get your Oko back. I have to replay all my things. Yeah, just do it. Just knock yourself out. No? Okay. Sure. Oh, look, you took the Cyclonic Rift to the surprise of literally no one. Why wouldn't... Okay, okay, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Man, this is wild. Really was hoping for a land there so I could play Dragonlord Solemngar, steal the Oko, ultimate the Oko, trade the Sower for their Oracle. <sighs> but alas, no. Travel and show. No, it's not much, but it's the best I can do. Oh, this is actually perfect. It still kills Oko, and we get to get rid of everything. Wow. Deal. I mean, we're not drawing a card here, obviously. So bounce, bounce, and bounce. Actually, not bad. I mean, I don't know if they're in any better of a position. They still have Sylvan Library, Narset, uh, Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> like, their deck is actually fantastic. And this is the exact kind of deck I, I enjoy. My Japanese lessons are going well, learning a heck of a lot. That's awesome. I also feel like Japanese has to be pretty hard because, like, you're not only speaking a different language, but you have to write a different language as well if you're learning. Oh, they don't have Rift anymore. You're right. Good call. God, there's so much going on. I'm sorry. This is a match where there's a lot. Not only is there a lot going on on the board, but the chat is pretty active right now. So don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for it. I love you guys. They also have 10 cards in their library, so do they deck? Hmm.
And that's their turn, right? We get to kill the Narset, which is great. And I kind of like the idea of keeping up Torrential Gear Hulk here. My youth is my song, yeah. They played that instead of the Wandering Funeral. That's interesting. I wonder if that's a hedge. Okay, six mana. Against decking themselves. Sure. Oh, all right. So now you have Fumeral in hand. Ooh. So they're going to play Teferi, which is a, a concern. We just like drop a mortal sun here. I mean, we take a bunch. If we Silumgar steal the Gargaroth, it prevents an attack. I think we're doing that first. Let's get rid of Narset. <laughs> Mike is your immortal son. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, good. Packed on top. And stomping. I keep thinking they have to have a way to, like, shuffle the deck, but this is the Legacy Cube, so I don't think there's, like, Time Spiral in here, right? Someone check. Someone do, their, do the legwork for me. This could also be something something bananas under here. They could just have an Eldrazi. Maybe they're just like, I'm going to play Emrakul. Fumeral gone. Go forth, internet minions, and do my bidding. Okay, so they have this and packed. Well, that's frustrating. All right, time spiral's not in the cube. Okay. What is happening? They might just have enough here to like kill us. What turn is it? Yeah, I think I think we're dead here. I think the combination of Jace's Enigos and Glenelander was just too much to put on the board, and we're still like missing land drops on turn eight. I mean, let's see the Pact of Negation here, buddy. What? Really? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. They have two blockers. So we're not going to go kill their guys. Yeah, this is whatever. I'm just going to concede. <laughs> we don't have this game. Let's be real. Um... They have a lot of Planeswalkers, however. I almost kind of like Kira here.
Eh, her appeal's kind of meh. Like, bouncing one of their things just doesn't seem like it has any effect. Like, okay, they bounce and they, they replay it, and we don't really have, like... Like, if we were a tempo deck where we want to, like, take advantage of the time that we bounce your creature attack for, like, eight, oh, cool, we got in there for a bunch. But, like, just bouncing a random thing, especially when we're trying to cut a card right now, does not seem, like, really where we want to be. I can see cutting Mana War here. Yeah, all right, I'll give it a shot. I mean, Kira into Fallen Shinobi is pretty decent. And I'm okay with it. If we draw a third land, that is. It's not that our mana base is even that rough. It is, but it's also just more like, well... I'm not drawing lands, and that's pretty fucking shitty, so, you know. That's cool. Heaven forbid I went third land into fourth land and actually got to enact a plan. Yep. Cool. All right, let's go to the next game because I just don't feel like even... Like, this isn't fun. Like, I'm not having a good time. And uh, my time is better spent playing Magic than watching other people play Magic. So, you know. Two two rounds in a row where I miss land drops, and uh, that's, about, that's about the end of it for me. I just... You just saw the list while I was sideboarding. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. My time is best spent watching other people play. That's totally fine, too. Yeah, good games, man. Um, there's, there's no real reason to take out... Why would we take out Bloodline Keeper? Like, why would we do that? There's no reason to do that. Sure. Triple, triple Swamp sounds good. Yeah, all right. Foretell that guy. I mean, we do get a small window to kill this, thankfully, but... You got it. Pump it up. Oh, boy. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, so for 18 land. Yeah, I could see going 18 land, definitely. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I mean... I'm doing this now because... They're blue. Maybe that's not a good enough reason. Uh, F2. Mm-hmm. Ban it. Ban it, ban it. Yep. Yeah, this is better. Now they don't get to scry. So we did it. We figured it out. <sighs> Sometimes I'm like, you know, I'd love to sit here and be like, my losses are due to my poor decisions and play skill and out being outplayed. But, you know, then you sit here with Four blue cards and four swamps. And another blue card foretold. Yeah, look at that. You got an Emrakul on top. Gerard, I'm actually... I, start, I just started like an hour ago, so... Oh, look. Hey, guys, it's another swamp. 
That's great news. Fantastic. Mono black. I didn't think this was a shaky keep, did I? I mean, like, it's three swamps, but, like, I don't think the odds of us drawing a fucking island should really be, like, well, there's ten islands in the deck. It's a 25%, like, 25% of the deck is islands, is blue sources. I don't know, man. Oh, God. The problem is I shouldn't need an 18th land. I really, really shouldn't. If I'm hitting land drops like a normal person, I have Worn Power Stone, Simulacrum, Jace to Cycle, and 17 lands. Like, it should be more than adequate. Like, is this any good in our deck? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe getting back like a Mana War and a Jace. Eh, actually, it's not terrible. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine islands and a mana confluence. We have ten sources of blue. Hitting one should not be a fucking ordeal. Yet here we are. Here we are. All your keys are shit. How dare you? Why don't you go back to the MoMA, nerd? Kerwood is visiting New York this week. And he went to the MoMA. I love the MoMA. For those that know, that is the Museum of Modern Art. I swear to fucking God, dude. Perfect. It's the most perfect hand I've ever seen. I've never seen a better looking hand than this. You're moderate, you're moderate, you're breathtaking. Oh boy. I've never seen a better looking. This is like, this is like a, a an oasis in the desert. Oh, the Museum of Marine Animals. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I get him confused. It was very weird that they picked the same name. I think I'm actually going to ship the Confluence. We have... Uh, play the Undercrypt. No. Because next time we can Solemn or Sower, depending on what they do. If they play as an Oracle, we're definitely stealing that bad boy. Okay. Oh, all right. All right, N. Does anything require triple or... I don't think so. <laughs> okay so the most we need is double for everything i'm gonna just get another island here and it'll pass oh well, that's pretty that's pretty something Huh. Thank you. Badger with the gifted sub again. Unbelievable. This is that was actually ridiculous. This is ridiculous.
Let's just get in there with the solemn. Is that what they want? Oh, maybe that's what they want. Dang it. Oh, man. We can't steal it. I don't want to attack because then they just put Solemn under Mimic Vat, and that seems pretty good. Is it when he dies and this is Sacrifice or Exile? Exile it. Okay, so they're not going to draw the card. But I'm still not going to do it. Thanks. I think we actually... I think we just play Immortal Sun here. It shuts off Jace when he flips, but, I mean, I think it's too strong to just not play here. Oral, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Ed. Well, well. Well, you know, I really wish I could target something and steal it. That'd be super cool. So, one, two. Land. Okay, I actually want to keep the land this time. Maybe I do. I don't actually know if I do. I want to play Bloodline Keeper and also keep up Counterspell. Fall from Favor. I guess we can discard Fall from Favor. Yeah. I don't love it, but can't activate this guy. Okay, so we're just going to play Big Bloody. And then we have Fallen Shinobi to hit with. He's a heartbreaker. Yeah, people saying Jace's Vrin's Prodigy were unplayable were pretty hilarious. Like <laughs> they're like, this is the this is worse than tip. I remember screenshotting someone's comment, me and Ali Eldrazi, Ali Ali and Trazi <laughs> were talking about it. And uh on one of his threads, someone was like, This is worse than Tybalt. And we were like Like when you're this bad at evaluating cards, at least be self-aware enough to know you're that bad at evaluating cards this is great because they i don't know if they realized that it was going to flip and they just don't get to use it and that's that's kind of cool yeah i don't care about awakening zone Badger, uh, from all the friends I've I've ever had in my life, I will definitely agree that uh, the discussion with family is one of the hardest. Drawing two cards a turn, man, feels good. Okay, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm 
Look at Tybalt now. Be careful you make fun of in middle school. Uh, see, that's solid. That's a solid joke. I kind of just want to attack here. So this guy's going to cost four. Replaying this costs three. We're one away from where I want to be, so I don't think we're going to... We have two cards that steal other cards and no cards uh, that actually... <laughs> that actually are going to resolve. I didn't know Vintage had power in it now. What does that mean? You sound like a crazy person. I mean, having this one counter spell is pretty nice. Um, What do you got here? You got four colors here. I feel like this is a counterable spell. Especially because we have we're going to have such a hard time countering it or uh, uh targeting it rather. <laughs> oh, you're making a fallen shinobi joke. I see. I understand. Let's make a vampire. Making a vampire. Oh, ho, ho. that's what father likes. <laughs> Do we just hard cast that? That feels good, right? Attack for three, make a vampire. We can use one of the birds to get a hit in. Do it now. Oh, that's good. Black Tarantula. I don't care about your Nissa really, so I'm just gonna, gonna nug your face. Uh, we can possibly do that, sure. This is gonna be five and two, so yeah, we definitely have the mana for it, but um, you know. Also our Murderous Rider gets countered so we don't get the, the Horseman. The Bojack Horseman. Oh, these birds are big too now? See, now I'd rather go for the throat it. Let's hold off on land. One, attack your face, your face, your face, and your face. Four faces. Six foot, seven foot, ninja, whoa. De ho, ho. These are free? <laughs> oh, okay. We're having a good time now. Um, black for the, wait, why did this add a green? Oh my God, they're all for us, so they all add extra mana? What a combo. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Jesus. Whenever you have a forest for, for mana, it adds additional green. Well, I don't have any forests. You have all forests. Oh my god. Well, that was good times. Six foot, seven foot. Just submit. Well, another another one of those uh, infamous swamp hands. Let's 
Still going to keep it. We have Worn Power Stone. And any blue source is pretty good here. Oh, well, I guess we're dead. I get the worst swamp hands in the summer. I, I get them all the time, man. Okie dokie. Well, we had a good run. Go get, go fetch the ointment. Daylight come and the tap of my swamp. I think they were trying to kill this, and then they're like, wait, I can't. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, this is stupid. It's just like, like, come on, dude. Like, this is fucking terrible. Yeah, just get rid of all your lands first. Joke's on you, buddy. Maybe you should target yourself, stupid. <laughs> Six foot, seven foot, eight foot, nine foot, ten foot. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm just going to pause it until we get a match. Thank oh, look at that. A, 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 an amazing hand with a, a solid distribution of lands and spells. Oh, what up, Skip? Welcome back, buddy. Happy playing up. What does that mean? What are you saying right now? What are you saying right now? What are you even saying? Skippers. Skipperino. Also, there's a nice amount of lands to just discard with Jace. Are you excited for the arena draft thingy next week? I don't even know what that is. So the answer, my initial answer is No because I don't know what that is. Instaland. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Just get rid of mana confluence here. Sure, why not? Why not, you know? High support is draft tokens. I like draft tokens. Staying up all night. This is a Liliana on the board, yeah. Let's get back Jace and then replay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, time warp's gone. 
That sucks. Uh, yep. All right. They're doing something. Something's happening, guys. A spell is being cast. Skiffs ungiven. Sure. It's gonna be. It's gonna be unburial rites. Aleshnorin. You ready? Yeah. Well, they do need a creature on play, in, on on board. They don't have that yet. I'm still waiting for the mail to be delivered, and it's like four o'clock. What's the holdup mail? <sighs> I mean, I don't think we're screwed just because they get four creatures. Like, we still have. Two or three pieces of removal in our hand. Oh, on barrel rights. Um. So they go eternal witness. Guess so this is actually pretty good. Which one am I choosing? I wish it like said where the cards go. Choose target opponent chooses two cards. Put the chosen cards into the graveyard. Okay. So, I think eternal witness. I think eternal witness and wall go in the graveyard. Like, casting on burial rites or the other one is not super impressive. Like, they can't cast... None of the other cards are creatures, right? So, like, they can't cast Grave Titan next turn, and they can unbarrel rites one of these guys for, like, five, which is fine. Are they just going to unbarrel rights to the Eternal Witness? Sure. <laughs> but hey, it puts food on the table. Oh, God. Hmm. I kind of like Jace Time Warp here, to be honest. But then since we have so many creatures, I kind of like this as well. So we're going to do that. And they can sacrifice this guy. That's fine. But now we're the monarch. So I know people send you things. So I sent you a dude doing a survey. I hope you're like, yeah, it was really nice of you, actually. I was like, wow, this is really good. I'm going to use this to do nothing. Oh, Badger. <laughs> there comes a point where I'm like, that's nah, just too painful. It just hurts too much.
what was the story about? I don't know. I didn't even answer the door. It was like a dude in an, is it Axiom or Axios? Like, and I'm just like, I don't, why, like, why? There's a big sign that says no solicitors. Like, just don't come to my door and ask for things. Like, no one likes that. Literally, no one wants you to do this. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? It was the Mormons. Sure, Garner, you are probably intimately familiar with that as a as a Utah resident. I loved Utah when I was there. It was a great state. I was surprised how much I loved it. Oh, no. What are they getting? Wall of Blossoms, huh? Wonder if they're gonna play big old gravy tea. Is it gonna be a gravy tea? I bet it is a gravy tea. Oh yeah, gravy tea. I'm just gonna keep singing gravy tea. You guys ready to ride murderously? Hmm. It's no longer a gravy tea. I feel like this could be worse. Now we don't get time warp, unfortunately, but... And the flash of the neon lights at the night... The sound of Mucho. Hmm. Sore of Temptation is interesting here. Jeez. I think we're just going to keep Bloodline Keeper. In. Oh, Billy Biscuits. I mean, there's been a couple of decision trees here. One was to keep Liliana alive. One was to grab the Sower for when they play Grave Titan. My concern is that if they know we have Sower, they're not going to Grave Titan. So we're just going to sit there with Sower and not be able to advance our board. <laughs> you got it. Sprawl it up. Magic's like a choose-your-own-adventure book. Boy, it really is. Boy, you ain't kidding. And in the naked light I saw Are you just going to cast your Grave Titan ever? Are you ever going to do that? I mean, they're at 10 from City, and then they take 7 here, and that's pretty good. Actually, they're just... Uh, sure. So three, four, five, ten. We put them to one and we get to keep up Counterspell. I'm going to do that instead of playing. Actually, we'll keep the Vampire back. Oh, what can we pop this guy into? 
Dragon Lord Silumgar, huh? And this guy I don't actually know. So I'm just gonna pass and keep up factor fiction or uh counterspell. And that's our uh, trader account, Bob Nicholas. <laughs> trader why well, keep saying account instead of accountant? <laughs> this is the second time you've done that. Oh man. I'm gonna counter your stupid B. Got any one drops? Yeah, we can sack the token for our bird of paradise. Those are fives. We couldn't have got any fives or any six. Okay. Do I have any any graveyard nonsense? I don't think so, bro. I feel like this should still be in here. It doesn't hurt anything. What's the what's the alarm? You know. My phone keeps auto correcting it. Worm for the bees. Worm. Worm for the bees. Twenty twenty ten. Worm. Worm for the bees. I'll keep this in. I think that could be fine. The problem is I didn't see a ton of other things, so it's like putting in a one card for one other card is not ideal. But then again, if they take 10 off of it, it's like, well, that's pretty good, so. Turn two Jason to turn three Power Stone is pretty nice. I actually don't think we need to cast this yet. Let's actually just go regular lands here. Reason being is that, like, we have four lands now and a Power Stone. And if we get to a point where we can cast this and get back, like, a Jason, a Mana War, like, that's pretty good. Oh, double, double Forest here, huh? Okay, no Black seems relevant. Oh dear. Oh, the neon lights. I got two turn tables tables on a power stone. Where it's at. Bottles and cans and just clap your hands and just clap your hands. Hmm. Let's bop that that Ocarino. Ocarino of time. And then we got a Venser. And see now we're in a position where we can like do this for three. Sure. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. We can actually do this for four, get back Venser and Jace if they die. Eh, that's actually pretty good. If we play this, we can get it back for five, which almost gets back Torrential Gear Hulk. annoying Why do they keep making food This actually feels pretty decent. So we know they have Polucranos in hand. Hmm. 
Yep, don't really care about that. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have any creatures in the graveyard, so that's fine as well. Ha ha! Yeah, 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 yeah. Do we have enough mana to do both? Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right, that's pretty good. Hmm. They might steal the monarchy from us, which is uh, something I should have probably accounted for. But then they don't get to fauna shaman. Yeah, they're just going to fauna shaman here. Ten thousand people, maybe more. Yep, discard a Pelucranos. I think we're just saving the counter spell for the the recurring nightmare when it comes back down. That's <laughs> though Panini Primavera. Get back, Paluki. Seems totally fine. I don't think I want that eternal witness to come down on my dime. That's a song I just wrote. Oof. Four and one, huh? It's gonna be a four and one for sure. Maybe a two and three. Oh look, it's a four and one. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take the one. Not hurting for lands here, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, that's exciting. Can I just kill them here? No, we don't have 15, right? Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Now we have ten, so we can go this and this this turn. Next turn, play Gear Hulk. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can't play either one of I guess if I guess if they block, we're just gonna time warp, so that's fine. And then we keep up Gear Hulk with Counterspell. Like that. Uh return a creature from your your hand. No, I'm just gonna draw a card. I think Stone Coil could be good. Thank you. Choose target player. Negative two, negative two. We're coming to America. Antibody, welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, Immortal Sun. Draw another card. Okay, eat some food. Got it. Oh, baby. <laughs> this is exciting. One, two. So now we can actually keep up Mystic Confluence and Gear Hulk, which I think was what we're going to do. Okay, this game's pretty much over. I feel like our, our deck was good. Like, I think our mana could have used a little work, but I also don't think it was worth going, like, 
one two and just losing to terrible swamp draws i think they're gonna play recurring nightmare after this and then we're just gonna counter it and feel very good about it Do, 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 do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is just this is just game, I think. Cast, return to draw a card. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. You don't know that. I have a mortal son. Gotti, one, two. Worst result yet, but I still think our deck was fun. Thank you guys for watching. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to head on over to Twitch and subscribe if you have the means. It's really, really a great way to support the content, and it means a ton to me. I'd really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.